Jubilee, a celebration of music in Kentucky. Tonight, from the Kentucky Horse Park in Lexington and the Festival of the Bluegrass, Kentucky's own bluegrass songstress and banjo stylist, Pam Gadd and Long Road. I've got a thousand miles with nothing much to do. Just settle back and write a letter home to you. And tell you how I think about you when I'm gone. And how I just can't wait to get back home. I'll tell you tales of all the places that I've seen. And how I can't believe I'm living out the dream. I wish you knew all of the folks who treat me right. Who feed me good and let me spend the night on the sweet highway. The wheels beneath my head help me to sleep on the sweet highway. And if I die, I pray my soul to keep till I'm holding you again. This highway is my friend on the sweet highway. Feeling in my soul since I was young I'd see the world sing about it in my song A life of singing for my supper, so to speak Oh, if that's all, that's good enough for me So wipe that tear away, hug yourself real tight And make believe I'm there beside you every night And I'll save a kiss for every town that's come and gone So keep that fire burning till I'm home Sweet highway, oh the wheels beneath my head help me to sleep. On the sweet highway, and if I die, I pray my soul to keep. And until I'm holding you again, this highway is my friend. On sweet highway, yeah the wheels beneath my head help me to sleep. On sweet highway, and I feel so good, yeah, that sleep. Till I'm holding you again This highway is my friend Home sweet highway Fourteen. My dad came up to me one one day out of the clear blue after we had come home from Renfro Valley uh, Bluegrass Festival, Mac Wisen's festival, and he said he had bought a Vega, an Earl Scruggs model Vega banjo, and he tried to learn. He had the book, the Black Earl Scruggs book, and he, he really hadn't had a lot of luck really catching on to it. You know, he learned some roles thankfully, because I really attribute him to actually teaching me in the beginning how to play. And he says to me one afternoon, I had seen this little boy sit on the uh, flatbed truck. He was about 12 years old, and I'll always wonder who that little boy was. But he said, uh, this little boy, I remember standing there thinking, gosh, if he can do that, I could do that. I was about his, no, I was 14, this boy was 12. And, but other than that, I hadn't thought anything about ever thinking about playing a banjo. Daddy says to me one afternoon on, on the couch, I can remember we were sitting on that white fuzzy couch, and he says, why don't you learn to play the banjo? And I went, okay. <laughs> and that was it. Well, I'm staring out the window at the night. The rain is driving me crazy. It's just as cold inside. All the warmth is gone without my baby. And in my mind,
tried to black it out, but all my mind can see is her that you love. If you're not too hot. Yeah. It was a dream come true when I found out that Ron Murphy and Laura Murphy from the Muddy River Band out of Spring Valley, Ohio, was looking for a banjo player. And I, I wanted so badly to play. I was, had just graduated and had worked at Taco Bell and thought, this is not for me, you know. <laughs> so um, I auditioned and they, they hired me. I was 19 years old. And they, I, they employed me for four years and it gave me an incredible chance to tour the, the festival circuit and just to learn to be an entertainer. It was just a wonderful uh, grounding for me in a, a, a formative years. All right, I want to take a moment and introduce my fiddle player for you. She lives over in Lexington, Kentucky, so we, she drove about 20 minutes over here to the show today. Thanks to her mom and Paul for putting us up. Please make welcome a wonderful singer, too, if you would, to say hello to Katie Penn. Katie Penn. Yeah, all right. 
and I went from there to uh, joining Johnny Russell uh, on the country singer. Uh, Buddy Griffin, wonderful fiddler, was playing fiddle with Johnny out in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, and they needed a backup female singer. And I thought, oh, this could be my big break into country because I wanted, always wanted to combine country and bluegrass. And so I, I joined Johnny Russell's troupe and, and sang, it, it was his backup singer, played some banjo on the show, and so got a feel of that entertainer kind of thing in the country field. And then came back to, to Cincinnati, where I was living. I'm from northern Kentucky, just across the river. But I had moved out on my own and was living in Cincinnati. And Vicki Simmons from the New Coon Creek Girls called me and said, we've got an all-girl band. Uh, that started in Renfro Valley, but we, we've branched out, we're doing festivals, and we're looking for a banjo player. And I was at, at a time in my life where I was so really praying and, and uh, yearning to be in the family bluegrass atmosphere again. I was 23 years old, and I went down to Berea and met Vicki Simmons and the girls in that band. It was Wanda Barnett and Kathy Lavender. And they hired me, and it was just it was just wonderful, and I stayed with them for about, till 1986, for about three or four years there. I've got a tiger by the tail that's plain to see. I won't be much when you get through with me. I'm a losing weight and a turning mighty fast. And it looks like I got a tiger by the tail. Get a Katie. Well, every night you drag me where the bright lights are found. There ain't nowhere to slow you down. I'm now about as helpless as a leaf in a I've got a tiger by the tail that's plain to see I won't be much when you get through with me I'm a losing weight and turning mighty fast And it looks like i got a tiger by the tail And then got the big call from Wanda Vick from Nashville, who had headed up Porter Wagner's all-girl band, The Right Combination. I wasn't a part of that band, but she always believed in this dream of an all-girl country band. And I thought, well, I don't know if I want to do an all-girl band, because I'd already done that, you know. But I, went, I thought, something told me you'd really be stupid not to listen to this opportunity and at least go meet these people, you know. So. I drove down there, and once again, we were all about the same age. We were Christians. We, 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 we had real, everybody was really nice. Good senses of humor. We were buddies, you know, and I thought, I, I, I'm supposed to do this. This is a door. And, I, and, and it also brought me to Nashville, which, have, you know, every, every singer dreams of living in Nashville. And I moved down there in uh, February 4th, 1987, and I've been there ever since. I was uh, recently informed that Rarely Heard wanted to record an old song I wrote when I was living in Cincinnati. I fell madly in crush with a banjo picker from the great state of Virginia back when I was in my younger Coon Creek girl days. I will not tell who it is. Now, don't hush. Don't even ask. He's all married now, but anyway. Rarely Heard just recorded this and put it on their new album. They changed the words, of course, to Virginia Girl, but... 
I'd like for us to do the original version written years ago, and I'll send this out to my friend from Cincinnati, Leanne Hovner, who came down for the show today. This is called Virginia Man. Well, it's another lonely night in Cincinnati And I'm thinking about my Virginia man A year has come and gone without my baby so I'm heading down to Virginia once again Well, I left them on a cold September morning I didn't think I wanted what I had But it never fails as sure as you ain't got him Lord, you'll think you cannot live until you have And I should be in Roanoke by the morning I wonder when he sees me what he'll say God make him understand that I still love him And I'll hold him tight and never go away Now it's hard to leave my home in Cincinnati but country life is calling me again And there's nothing like a morning in the mountains And waking up with my Virginia man And I should be in Roanoke by the morning I wonder when he sees me what he'll say Lord, make him understand that I still love him And I'll hold him tight and never go away What he'll say Lord, make him understand That I still love him And I'll hold him tight And never go away Yeah, I'll hold him tight And never go away Thank you The song All the Old Men Are Gone Is the most special song I've ever written, I think maybe because um, in this song these old men live on and they're not around anymore I got to thinking one day God, all the old men in my life are gone and I said that to myself one day in the car I was just driving over by where my grandpa's farm used to be and I was kind of thinking about grandpa Engel and then I thought about my other grand my dad's dad and then all these series of old men that I knew growing up I started thinking about Richard and old Charlie and uh and all my great uncles that I used to know and it's like God, they're all all the old men in my life are gone and instantly this song sprang forth and that's how I always write I'm talking to myself <laughs> and instantly all the old, I don't know why but instantly the, all the old men in my life are gone and then this image came of being at Grandpa Ingalls house in this cold tractor because the master's gone, and this tractor's sitting there with these weeds growing up. Cold tractors way to plow. Then tobacco fields. Oh, no, tobacco pipes. I remembered Grandpa Ingalls' tobacco pipe sitting in, in the ashtray, and I thought, it's cold and burned out. He's gone, you know. And, all these, and then all these images. I remember Mr. Fisher, this old man when I was a little girl. He was old. He was in his 90s when I knew him. And uh, he's 200 now. No, <laughs> no, he's passed on too, but... He used to walk up the street, uh, up the road there at my other grandfather's house. And he had this walking stick and these old, old brogan, brogans, these old boots that these old men wore, you know. Big image, and I thought, oh, i got to include Mr. Fisher's boots in there. Oh, and walking sticks. And then I thought about the old hands, their old hands, you know. Songwriting is my favorite thing because my mind gets so... It sees all these pictures, you know, and it's such a thrill to, uh, to put them in a line. It is the neatest thing I've ever done. If marriage can even come close to songwriting, then I, I'm gonna be a happy woman. Now 
All the old men in my life are gone Cold tractors wait to plow Tobacco pipes forever have burned down Worn out walking sticks are laid to rest Like calloused hands across their chest No longer holding on For all the old men are gone Dusty hats still hang up on their nails Tribute to the sweated brows A thousand plowed rows all paved over now Broken set behind forgotten doors Seems they could almost walk the floor Shoes once left footprints I walked on All the old men are gone Stories of the past Things are mighty quiet on the porch Even the rocking chair don't creak no more But I'm so proud to carry on All the old men are gone Gone to heaven, gone to glory They've gone home But after Wild Rose disbanded, I wanted to do my own thing, and so here I am. And in the interim between uh, disbanding with Wild Rose and now, I, I took a job with Patty Loveless for a summer as a backup singer uh, because it was a great job, and it, it was wonderful. We were opening for Vince Gill, playing in coliseums. Technically, it was the best sound system I've ever played on. Very organized. I learned a lot, a lot from that core of people and loved singing with Patty, great singer. What a thrill, you know. The right time, the right place, the right body, the right face. Temper, I'm falling in love. It started slow, it's coming fast. I've got a feeling it's bound to last. Temper, I'm falling.
you. Thank you, folks. Wow, Gene Parker was an amazing influence to me because he, because he played with bounce and personality. And that really re-enthused me in my early 20s when I, I met Gene and at, first of all heard him play and then went out and spoke with him and a beautiful friendship blossomed and he showed me some things. And, and so all along the way I've had this, this beautiful way of meeting these artists and they show me little things and I learn and grow and pick up pieces and, and finally I realized that that maybe my music had a personality too and that, that it all had come together and made me me you know and so okay here's my gift I'm gonna offer it to the world and I hope they like it you know and so that's where I'm at with the songwriting and the singing playing banjo and playing bluegrass and playing folk and country sometimes and just doing videos and doing this as long as I can do it In my arms and you held on tight And I was thinking to myself how it felt so right While I was looking for love written in your eyes You moved too fast, took me by surprise Well, if that's what you got in mind, you better realize I'd rather have nobody than to have the wrong one body Just for the sake of having somebody Have the wrong old body Just for the sake of having some 